Good morning and welcome to another edition of Garden Talk with Aya Food School. I'm Jamie and it's always a pleasure to be here with you. So today I'm going to talk about um, some easy salad dressings that you can make at home and you probably already have the ingredients in your kitchen. So there's no need to rush out to the store in case you don't have salad dressing. We're gonna do it right here, super easy. So I, I got three different salad dressings today that I'm gonna share with you. Um, again, you probably already have these ingredients in your kitchen, so let's just start with it. The first one is a simple vinaigrette. It has a base of, and I'm just gonna say for, for you know a small portion, it's a quarter cup of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil is best. We have a tablespoon of Dijon mustard and a quarter cup of lemon. And I'm gonna show you the hack on the lemon juice. Um, there's also two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna show you that hack, hack too. And then there's maple syrup, about a tablespoon of maple syrup, salt, pepper, and shake. So easy. All right, here we go. So did you know that with a simple lemon, the easiest way to extract the juice, the protruding part of the lemon, this is a makeshift skewer because I don't have skewers, so I had a chopstick and I just um, put a fine point on the end to make a skewer, use what you got, right? That's what it's all about, use what you have. So the protruding end of the, of the lemon, you stick your skewer, in this case, chopstick, <laughs> into the lemon and you don't go all the way through because that will start to make a mess. And just turn it around, pull it out so you have a hole there. Guess what? There is easily extracted lemon juice. Now, of course you could poke the hole a few more times, but it's a very easy, simple way. So in this case, we have a quarter cup of lemon juice. And the other thing about this thing with the lemon is you, <laughs> you just put it aside so, to, till you need it again. <laughs> All right, so we have a quarter cup of lemon juice here, your Dijon mustard, your two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna show you a hack on the garlic too. And a tablespoon of, in this case I put maple syrup, but you can use honey or agave. And salt and pepper. And did I say garlic? Yeah. And just give it a good shake. How long have we been on? Less than five minutes. Ta-da! Simple vinaigrette dressing. So this is an apple cider vinaigrette. Apple cider is so good for you in so many ways. Of course, Bragg's, they kind of have the corner market on it because they're so good. It's non-GMO always. And, you know, they, they abstain from uh, pesticides and herbicides and all the things that really can make a good apple a bad apple. <laughs> so apple cider vinegar, totally simple, 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 um, recipe here. Let me just look here. We got a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, quarter cup of olive oil. Again, extra version is, is the best. I got a one and a half teaspoons of maple syrup and a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. And then I put shallots in there. You can put shallots or garlic, your choice. Okay. So the thing about I had not put the uh, apple cider vinegar because I wanted to show you something. <clears throat> Especially with Bragg's because they don't, um, they don't really filter it. So this stuff, I want to show you. This stuff at the bottom, that's the gold. They call that the mother. And if you shake it up, <clears throat> you want all that. That is the probiotic in the apple cider vinegar that, um, that makes it so potent and strong, filled with, uh, yeah, po probiotics. Really um, good to keep your gut happy. And when you have a happy gut, the rest will follow. It's all connected. Okay, so we're gonna put our quarter cup of apple cider vinegar in our already, for again, time purposes, pre-made extra virgin olive oil. 
maple syrup, shallots, salt and pepper, and that's it. That's it. That's all that you need <laughs> for your salad dressing. So you give that a good shake. And there you go. Salad dressing number two, ready to go. All right, so now I'm gonna do an Asian salad dressing and I'm gonna show you a couple of hacks, easy hacks in the kitchen to deal with um, peeling things because sometimes it just gets a little frustrating for some people. You don't have to put ginger into your Asian salad dressing. I like it, I like the flavor of it. So an easy way to peel your ginger is just take a spoon and let's just say, here, I'll just cut off a piece. I'll cut off this little nub right here. That's probably a good two to three tablespoons worth of ginger right there. You have your ginger, you take your spoon and you just drag it over. Over the peeling. And there you go. Your ginger is peeled. Now this recipe is a little more complex, but that is all about what it is that you prefer to put in your Asian salad dressing. In this case, I have a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. I have the key ingredient is three tablespoons sesame oil. Now, another sesame oil is, is if it's toasted. If you use toasted sesame oil, use half the amount. So this is three tablespoons of regular sesame oil, organic. And um, so you would use like a tablespoon and a half of, of toasted sesame oil. Okay, and then we have rice wine vinegar. That's also the other key ingredient. We've got about a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar in that. And then your one and a half tablespoons maple syrup, uh, sesame oil, coconut, and aminos. Now, this is what makes it the difference between a paleo salad dressing and a, uh, a regular salad dressing if you used soy sauce that wasn't paleo. So if you use coconut liquid aminos, then it's vegan and paleo. Now vegan is if you use agave or maple syrup. If you use your honey, that makes it non-vegan. Okay, so as a sweetener, you would use, I did, I used um, maple syrup, but I think agave might be best in this case. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that out yet. Um, use what you have, right? So I had maple syrup. That's what I used. Um, a little bit of red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, and two cloves garlic. I think I put that in there already. And let me show you a garlic hack. Put um, some cloves of garlic that have the peel on it into a jar, and then you shake the heck out of it. The thing about this, if you're on the phone <laughs> or, you know, dancing in your living room, or in this case, dancing in the kitchen, you know, walk around with your jar of your garlic peels, of your garlic cloves, and do this. It takes a, it takes about a fair minute for this to actually work, but it does work. It just takes some time. <laughs> so basically at the end of it, um, when you take your clothes out, they are basically peeled. Not always, not always. But then again, that's all about the, um, the rigorous shaking and how much time you spend. Okay, so I got a piece of garlic here with the peel on it. You just put it on your on your tray, bam, right? Peeled garlic, ta-da. So there you go. A few hacks to help you in the kitchen. Some salad dressings that are super easy. Uh, save time, save money, uh, save on food waste, and put the control of what you eat in your hands. And um, if you make it, you know what's in it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend and um, enjoy your day as you are. And I uh, hope it's an abundant one for you. Okay, take care and thanks for joining me here at Aya Food School. Until next time.